everybody. It's Friday. Time for Facebook Friday. I hope you guys have survived the week. It has been a long week. Doesn't it feel like the days are dragging right now? Oh, well, hopefully the next hour we can have some fun and we won't have to worry about viruses or washing our hands or any of that. We're just going to have some fun stamping. All right, good. I see you guys hopping on. Hello, hello. Let's see if I can find myself. Make sure I'm in the right place. Hi, Judy. Hi, Elizabeth. Thank you for joining me today. Today, um, my projects, I love them so much. The Mountain Air stamp set is what we're going to use today. And... Um, I was, has I've drugged my feet using it because I was so afraid I wasn't gonna be able to make something fantastic with it because I loved it so much. You know, does that make sense? I, I want I wanted to make something awesome with it, and um, anyway, I was I was intimidated by the stamp set. I wanted it to be good. So anyway, I love what I ended up with. Hi guys, thank you so much for joining me. I'm gonna share this video over. Um, to my page just to make sure everybody can find us and let's see make sure the volumes turned down so we don't have to hear an echo now I don't know what the quality is going to be like today um, I hear everybody's having um, internet issues are you guys having internet issues at home since so many people are working from home apparently it's slowing down the, the internet knock on wood I have yet to see that um, and my kids are all here too using the internet, so we'll see. I made them get off right now. They're not happy with me. But uh, hopefully we won't have any glitches. If there are any glitches, I download it to my to my phone and upload it to YouTube, and then it's usually clean with no glitches, so you can always come back. All right, so today, Mountain Home is what we're using. I'm going to do three cards and I will talk about those in just a little while, but let me run through a few things that I want to tell you. As you might know, it's celebration and hi Kimberly, I miss everyone too. I know, I miss everyone too. It, it's the end of celebration. Celebration began on January 3rd and it's going all the way. Hi Amy, sorry, I hate when people do that when I'm watching a video and stop to say hello to people. I'll stop. I, if I read the comments, I get distracted. Hi, Amy. I'm glad you're here. Um, celebration. Okay, I'm not going to read any more comments. I promise. Um, it's the end. Tuesday is the last day of celebration. Have you gotten everything you wanted from here? Um, this is the second release. Um, second release brochure. There are some new things in here. We've, we've looked at these last Facebook Friday. We used um, one of them. And then just this week... They released eight more, or they added eight more items to the celebration offering. So if you've gotten everything you want from here, but you wanna get some free stuff, you've got eight, no, 10 more choices right here. And these are things from the annual catalog. Look at that butterfly punch, blends, um, three different designer series papers. So these are all from um, the annual catalog and they can be free with a $50 purchase. The, Punch and the dies are free with a $100 purchase. So it depends on how much you want to spend, all right? Hi, Darcy from Montana. Ooh, I bet it's nice and cold up there. We've like arrived in hot summer already down here. Somebody flipped the switch. <sighs> um, I want to remind you also that with the end of celebration comes the end of the starter kit promotion. The starter kit promotion during celebration. Well, I shouldn't say the starter kit promotion because the starter kit's always available. The starter kit's always $99 and you pick out $125 of product, um, whatever you want, free shipping. And then you get your 20% discount for at least three months, um, however long you stay active. But during celebration, they've added to that, you get the free little trimmer, little baby trimmer is what I call it, love it. We'll leave that out because we're gonna use that today too. Um, you get to add an additional stamp set, and I always say add the thing that's the most expensive on your wish list, right? And you get a, a sample paper pack. So three things added on. I think we we figured the value potentially could be like 200 and around $250, depending on what you choose for your free stamp set, for just $99. So that goes through the end of Tuesday, and if you're gonna do it, I would not wait till Tuesday, because there's always a ton of people trying to do it on Tuesday, and 
the website might get slow, you might get kicked off, you never know. So do it this weekend. Um, you know, you'll have access to put in your own, own orders. You'll get your discount. Um, you get to be on my team, which is, I think, pretty good. You get all my PDFs for free when, when you're on my team, um, among a thousand other things. If you're interested, um, there is a link on the bottom of today's PDF. Maybe, maybe, I think. No, I deleted it. It's at the bottom of today's blog post. All right. Um, it's also on the tab at the top of my blog. You can find it there or just reach out to me if you have questions. I'd be glad to answer them. Um, OK, so I wanted to tell you that I have something. OK, here's something really important. You need to make sure you're on my email list. Um, when the video's done, I'll add that link here in the description. You need to sign up to get my emails because in the next couple of days, I'm going to email out a ladybug, lovely ladybug limited class. OK, this is the host set. And um, yeah, the host set that you got during celebration for free if your uh, party total or your total is over $300. I have collected some, I have a few, and I've designed a class to go with them. So there's only gonna be a very limited number of them. They're gonna include the stamp set and the coordinating dies, some paper, um, some embellishments, and enough uh, make and take product to make eight, no, 10 cards, two of each. Um, and you'll get the stamp set in the kit for free. I've been collecting mine so I could do a class with them. So that's coming. I don't know exactly if it's gonna be today or Monday or whatever, but subscribe to my email list because that's the only place I'm gonna put it is in my email list because it's limited. And you know what happens when we have limited, things go like that, okay? So be ready. Um, be watching the email for it, okay? If you didn't get the ladybug stamp set and you want it, here's your chance. Okay, so that's that. Um, you know what, I'm gonna flip the camera around because I wanna show you guys a few things. Um, I have designed two classes for April and <laughs> I asked you guys last week, remember, um, did you wanna do the Tropical Oasis class or did you want to, yes Carla there will be a PDF only option yes thank you for asking that for the ladybug class or if you wanted to do the uh, what's it called clubhouse bundle for for April's class and you guys overwhelmingly chose the tropical class so I have spent the last week designing super cute projects and then I see that the dyes are on low inventory ah. so I'm going to show you the class. I don't know how it's going to turn out. Um, this may be one of those classes where you put in your order and I send you the class because, you know, back orders. And because of what's going on in our world right now, um, things are even slower. So I'm going to kind of watch that this weekend and decide on Monday how we're going to do that class, okay? Um, Desiree, info on the class. Are you talking about the ladybug class? That'll only be in my email, so you're gonna to need to subscribe to my email list. If you go over to pinkbuckaroo.com right now, over on the right side, scroll down, and it'll say, I think it says newsletter, um, then subscribe that way, because I will email it out, okay? All right, I'm gonna flip you guys around for just, hold on just a second, and I'll show you where that is. Once I'm done here, I always go back and add all, whoop, no, no, stay day. I, sorry, my phone was doing something weird. I, um, y'all see my, see how beautiful it is outside today? I just showed you the window that's right in front of me. Okay. Hope you were closing your eyes because that was a wild one. Um, I always go back and add in the links up at the description. So I will add that subscribe link, but let me show you real quick, um, how to find it. Okay. And you know what? It may be, um, you know how sometimes things look different on your device? Um, no, no, it does. It looks right. Okay. So here is my blog right here, newsletter. So if you click that right there and then you fill that in, that will get you on my newsletter list. Okay. All right. That was easy. I hadn't planned on doing that, but I uh, wanted you to see where that is. Okay. So let me show you the tropical 
Oasis class. It's super cute, super cute. There's actually eight projects um, in this class and it's gonna include half a pack of the Memory and More cards and some linen thread. Um, again, the problem is that the dies are on low inventory so I'm not sure how I'm gonna um, offer it. We're gonna see, we're gonna wait a couple days and see what happens. We may have to hold off on it or we may have to do something different. But just know that's coming next week. This will be for April. This will be after celebration is is available. Um, after celebration is done. Um, this will be for April, okay? And we can all imagine that we're on a beach somewhere and not stuck in our house. Now here's the other thing that we're gonna do in April. Um, Ornate Garden Suite is it gonna be a new product, or a new suite of products um, in the annual catalog that comes out in June. Um, and Stampin' Up! has pulled them and is offering them to everybody in April. And they're beautiful. Um, there's actually two stamp sets. You see the stamp sets? There's two die sets. And I've designed a class, of course, with it. Um, it's very, very, very cute. Um, it's called Ornate Garden. So be on the lookout. This will, I will announce this la next week. Um, and that'll be fun. Something for us to look forward to. New product always gets me excited and kind of helps me, you know, get past, oh, celebration is over. I'm sad. I can't get free stuff anymore. But new product helps me feel inspired. And with all of us stuck inside for who knows how long, we need some new fresh stuff, don't we? All right, that was all the announcements, I do believe. Why can't I see comments? Swipe left, oh, there they are, they were hidden. Okay, so hello everybody who's just joining, glad you're here. Ornate Garden, I will give you more details on this next week. Um, it's not available now, so I don't wanna spend too much time on it. Um, just know that it's coming, and those are the two classes for April, okay? All right. Now, let's talk about Facebook Friday. If you've never joined me for Facebook Friday before, um, I pick a sweet or a bundle, and then I, um, is that camera shaking? It is a little bit. Let me turn my fan down. Um, and then I design three projects using that bundle or product. Oh, whoa, my phone just did something super weird, you guys. Hopefully, we don't lose connection. That was weird. It gave me like a red, like, hmm, I don't know. Okay, if I get kicked off, I'll start again, okay? So you'll have to come find me. Um, I'll just do it right here again, hopefully. Anyway, this week is the, I'm so distracted, Mountain Air Suite, or Mountain Air Bundle. And I have three cards that we're gonna do. You can go over to pinkbuckaroo.com right now. And the three projects are here on the PDF, has all the products, products that I'm going to use as well as any measurements that you need. All right. Then also, if you like these projects and you want me to send them to you for free, you can put in an order using this host code right here by Monday at midnight, minimum $35. And I will send you next week all the materials to make these. You'll need the stamps and ink and adhesive, but I will send you everything else including your envelopes, okay? This is kind of what they look like when they come. I always make a little thank you tag in there. Um, and they come in the mail and they you have a link and then you can um, do them on your own. You can order anything you want when you order, put in an order for free Facebook Friday projects. Um, I don't care what you order. If you already have that and you, but you want the make and takes, you can order something else, all right? Well, hey, Jody, it's your first Facebook Live. Thank you for joining me. I'm glad you're here. Um, okay, so how about door prizes? I had these three last week, and here are three winners. Charity Johnson, Kathy Cummings, Cindy Kopp. Girl, ladies, girls, girls, ladies, whatever, please message me or email me your um, mailing address, okay? I would love to get these out in the mail to you. You know what? Last week's winners did not contact me either, and I have them sitting right here. Roxy Eller and Maria Porras. Would you two also message me so I can send these out for free to you as a thank you for sharing my video? They're free. So just message me, okay? I want to give away these prizes, but you only have two weeks to do it. All right, we're ready. Yeah, I see some of you saying in and out, glitchy. Okay, everybody just, you know, cross your fingers and hold your breath that the internet will, you know, 
do what we needed it to do during this hour. Um, this week's prizes are Do the Impossible. I have two of them. So if you will share the video on Facebook, then you are entered to win. And I'll uh, pick two random people to win these next week. All right. All right. My table is cleared off. If I can clear the cobwebs from my head and make a complete thought and a complete sentence, maybe we'll get some projects made. All right. All right. So PDF, pinkbuckaroo.com, go grab it. You can save it. You can print it. You can do whatever you want with it, but it's there. So you have the measurements. Okay. We're going to do three different cards. Um, and these I went over, <laughs> y'all are asking about Pepper. She's upstairs with the girls. Um, because I didn't, she, she isn't a barker, but she's a whiner. Like she whines, like, you know, the, the little puppy oh, constantly. Um, whenever she wants something, she has this wrapped around her finger. Um, oh, here she is. Oh, but I, I have to turn the video around here. How about you hold her? Okay, Addie has her. I'm going to show you guys. Let's see if I can do this without too much chaos. Okay, ready? Oh no, here she is. Say hi, Pepper. Do you see yourself yet? That's okay. It's delayed. You'll see it. She's got that stain on her eyes. We're working on that. Not sure about that, but she's super cute and she's a good girl. And this is Addie and she's super cute Hello. and a good girl too. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Addie. All right. That's Pepper and she is a sweet puppy. She uses the doggy door like a champ and then comes in and pees on the carpet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure she understands the purpose of the doggy door, but hopefully we will get that worked out. All right, so we're going to start with this one. Um, here's the Mountain Air stamp set and dies. Um, it is in the spring catalog or otherwise known as the January to June 2020 catalog. These stamps are reversible. Um, one side will have the more detailed image and when you flip it, it has the shadow or kind of like a silhouette um, that you can use with it. So we're going to use that um, a couple of times. Um, to make our cards. I didn't end up using these, but it also has these trees and clouds and moon, um, but I didn't end up using them. I cut them out and stamped them and everything, but I didn't end up using them. So look, if you ever do that, just throw them in your stamp case. So the next time you go to use it, you'll already have them there. Pretty cool, right? All right, so we need this. Let's move that. And let me get all of my stuff. We're using another stamp set here. Um, this, uh, mountain air. I keep wanting to call it mountain home. This mountain air does not have any sentiment. So each of these cards uses a different stamp set. I This one is family party to a wonderful. And then look, you can daughter, husband, brother, nephew, whatever you want. I chose friend. So that's the sentiment stamp set. Okay, let's stamp. I feel like it's taking me forever to get here today. I don't know why. All right, we're going to Let's do our die cutting first, okay? And we're gonna use the side of this stamp that has the details on it. So I'm gonna turn it over and put it on my block. My block is dirty. I know. Um, one thing I have found with these stamps, um, over when I, where I stamp over normally, you know, during the day, I don't have any problem stamping my photopolymer stamps. Have you guys ever stamped a photopolymer, a big photopolymer, and when you stamp it and you pull it up, there's like spaces, like bubbles, like it didn't stamp very well? I don't ever have that problem over there, but when I come to this table, that happens all the time. So if that happens to you, just get your piercing mat or a piece of fun foam and put it under your paper and it will um, not do that anymore, it'll help. This one would also be a great one for your Stamparatus. And the reason I didn't pull out the Stamparatus is because I'm gonna move this stamp around a few times and I felt like it would just be easier if I did on the block. All right, so we're gonna do Knight of Navy. Lots of pressure. There we go. And then we're gonna do the trees in Mossy Meadow. Hi, Stacy. welcome. And I use a lot of different inks this week. Oh, Pepper's in here. She has a collection of my ribbon spools and she likes to chase those around. She's like a little cat. All right, so now we'll grab those dies and we will cut them out. Hopefully she won't start her little whining. I don't know where Addie went. 
you know, kids are always like, oh yes, we're gonna help with a puppy, absolutely. But then today, all they wanna do is play their video games. <sighs> I kept reminding them. You guys that have kids at home, this is our, so we had a week of spring break. It's okay, Addie, yeah. You can stand here, you can take her. She's all right right now. Um, we had a week of spring break. We went on a trip. And that's when the world like fell apart. <laughs> that was the week that toilet paper became currency, basically. Um, and then we've had two weeks since then. So this is our second week of doing nothing and they're ready to go back to school for sure. Um, I'm talking too much while I'm, I'm not gonna, I wanna make sure I tell you this. This one cuts out the whole image. This one is just an edgelet. So it's gonna leave this straight part down here, okay? So you wanna match that up run it through it's funny i have an elementary school that's addie she's in fifth grade and i have a seventh grader and then a junior in high school well the elementary and the junior have a lot of work their their teachers are keeping them busy with some distance learning um is what they're calling it um but the middle schooler has had basically nothing I'm, I mean, like nothing. And she's in all AP classes, you guys. So it's been, it's been hard regulating that because she's just jacking around and her sisters are having to sit there and do homework and they're not very happy. I just wish they were consistent. All right. Now, are you guys having that? Are you guys doing distance learning with your kids? It's definitely, and I have a degree in teaching and it's still definitely a learning curve for all of us. Okay, so now let's do these um, mountains here in the background. I need to get my stamp cleaner. Here is it, right here. And we're gonna clean these stamps. By the way, I did film clean recordings of these today, yay. Um, so you'll find them on YouTube this evening. Now I'm gonna take this, and this time we want the back side of it. So I'm gonna set the back side down and pick it up like that. Bring over your foam pad again. And this time, you know, I'm actually going to, I want to take, I need my foam pad basically under my book paper. I have the whole pad here for some odd reason. All right, I'm gonna put that there. And I'm gonna put that there and that there. Okay, so the foam is under there. And we're gonna ink this up. You'll see why, because I'm moving my stamp around. I'm gonna stamp off the paper in a little while. All right, so we're gonna do this just really in Night of Navy, just right in the middle. Oh, Stacy, your daughter is loaded with work, huh? Yeah, it's just weird. I wish they would all either be loaded with work or not have very much work. It just all needs to be consistent, you know? Okay, so there we go. Now. Without re-inking it, you're gonna wanna move it over a little bit and stamp it like that, okay? It's gonna put that shadow back there. Now, I could move it over and do it again, but I want you guys to see this line right here. Can you see this line? Because I was hanging off the paper, it took ink from there, but didn't really take ink from there, so it's leaving that line. And if I were to take it and move it over here and stamp it, let me do it up here, You'll see, oh, you'll see that it, it leaves that weird line. So I'm gonna re-ink it and I'm gonna stamp it off twice. One, if your paper is bigger, maybe you don't stamp your paper, maybe you don't cut your paper before you stamp, then it won't, it won't do that. All right, so there, now let's move. Let's see, do I have a line? Yep, I do. And if you have this down here, I just took like, Let's see, take that and go like that and this corner like that. I feel like that's too dark. Let's do it, let's do one more. Let's stamp off a bunch. This is, you know, like the mountains in the, the clouds. It's foggy, it's misty. All right, Lena, we're gonna do one really light back here. Beautiful, okay, now, We've got that. I want to make the sky in the background. I thought, well, my paper's white. Hmm, look at that. We'll fix it. We'll figure it out. 
Um, I will tell you <clears throat> that I, when I played around with the stamp set, I had a lot of, um, shall we say, pieces that went in the trash. <laughs> it, you know, play around with it. Sometimes it'll be perfect. Sometimes it won't. Um, and that's okay. That's why we have lots of cardstock, right? All right, so I'm using my sponge. This is Seaside Spray, it's an in color. And I'm gonna start over here on the grid paper so I don't have any hard lines. And I'm just gonna drag it around like this. I don't want this guy to be too dark, but I want it to be kind of matching that cloud. All right, that cloudy look. So there we go. Now, let's get our pieces that we cut and we're gonna get some dimensionals actually yeah yep yeah, we are we are I was thinking I did that one flat but that's not right we um so we went on a trip I just mentioned that a few weeks ago we went to my very favorite place in the whole wide world southern Utah northern Arizona and I am obsessed with the mountains and so my projects today are kind of inspired by that. Here in South Texas, we don't have mountains, but we do have hills. We live in the hill country. And when I do my walks in the morning, um, at one point in the neighborhood, I can see over um, through the hills. And this morning, it kind of looked like that, where there are different shades of kind of gray and blue. It was very pretty. All right, now, I should have been paying attention to what I was doing because this is longer, so I'm gonna take those off. I'm gonna put one here and one here. Oh, hey, Mom, aerial perspective. Things appear lighter as they are farther away. Y'all, that's my mom. She's an artist, a real artist. <laughs> aerial perspective, I just call it layers of different color. <laughs> I don't have a degree in art. Okay, now, the trimmer, where did it go? Oh, good grief, Erica, where did it go? Is it looking at me? All right, well, whatever. Well, it'll show up in a minute. We'll just use our scissors. Now I'm gonna cut this off. Oh, do you, did y'all notice what I forgot? Did y'all notice? Let's see. Can we fix it? Yep, we can fix it. I forgot the sentiment. <sighs> things are just off today all right so before you put that rewind okay before we put the last layer on we're going to emboss our sentiment <laughs> and I'm gonna use um, I'm embossing it so it'll really pop off of the screen all right so embossing buddy that removes any static that you have and then we're gonna use our craft white pad right here the craft white pad comes uninked and then it comes with an ink refill that's craft white and so then you just squirt it all onto your pad to a great wonderful friend my team this week we're doing a card shower um we're all just kind of ha trying to cheer each other up and sending cards to one another this would be a good card to send right to a wonderful friend right now we could all just use a little extra kindness right uh, luckily this week i've had no unkind comments thank you everyone there for a couple of weeks i think we were all just kind of on edge maybe we still are a little bit i don't know so I put white embossing powder, <laughs> letting you forget to do it too. And you know, I remembered this morning when I did the clean recording, and had I forgotten, then I could have stopped it, edited it, start over, and nobody would have known. But that's the beauty of Facebook Live, right? You can't, it's live. But that hopefully will make you see that, guess what? We all do it. We all mess up. To a wonderful friend. All right. Now, let's go back. Oh look, there's dimensionals already on our paper. How did they get there? Hmm. <laughs> All right. Now, hello. Hello everybody. Kids home all day and a new puppy. Yeah, Karen, I have a little bit of an excuse, right? A little bit of an excuse. All right, now we've already trimmed that, so we need to make sure that that lines up. There we go. Oh, so pretty, I love it so much. I'm a little bit off over here, but 
you know what we're going with it we are going with it all right a knight of navy matte just an eighth of an inch bigger than the paper those measurements are over there on that pdf just go grab it and you'll be able to have all the details boy gone through a lot of dimensionals already and then this is seaside spray card base i don't think i've used seaside spray hardly at all since it came out in june and there we go now look i went a little bit higher here and i have a third one let's see it's always going to look a little bit different notice right here i have that line right yeah but i think it's okay there we go beautiful and a masculine card hey guys i want you to notice that none of my cards have bows today I don't know. I don't know what happened, but no bows. A good masculine card. I hope you guys like it. Very pretty, right? Mm, I love this set. Okay, now let me see what I need off of this tray, and we're going to move on to the next project, which might just be one of my favorite cards of all time. I know. You may not be as impressed with it as I am, but do I need this? Yes, I need this but I love it. Okay, let me grab it. Oh, it's gotten warm in here. We've reached the time of year where it's hot in my office. Let's move all of this. Okay, now let me show you this card. I didn't know when I made this if this card made sense because in my mind's eye, when I think about the mountains, I think about Southern Utah northern arizona and if you've never been there you've got to put it on your bucket list it is my favorite place in the whole world my kids love it my husband loves it we love it um the mountains there are spectacular if you want to see the power of god you go to northern arizona southern california i mean southern utah um it's gorgeous so in my mind i always when i think of it i always think of the orange and rust colored rocks so this card is kind of my, um, oh, what's the word? You know, I my ode to the mountains in, in that area. I got a few things to show you while I was there because I want you to see where I came up with this. Um, these were a few things from um, the gift shops that we went to. Here's Bryce Canyon, and that truly is the color of those mountains. Um, beautiful. And then in some areas, when you see the mountains, you see layers, maybe not turquoise, but you do see layers of different colored rocks. It's just amazing, and I always, say I wish I had a geologist to ride in the car with me so he could tell me all about all of that I just find it fascinating so can you see now where I got my inspiration it's a little bit funky like a like a rainbow mountain but really it's from these mountains over there um and there's the Grand Canyon which we did not get to see because <laughs> it was foggy we saw about that much we could see about that far we saw some towards the end but, but anyway that's my inspiration for the rainbow card okay it's not just I didn't just imagine and make it up here are the colors that I used okay grapefruit grove terracotta tile Cajun craze crumb cake soft suede early espresso and then the trees are again mossy meadow so now you're gonna need to stamp that in all those colors on the coordinating cardstock. So terracotta tile ink on terracotta tile cardstock. Um, it's a little bit tedious, but I think it's worth it. And I'm gonna do, I, I actually worked ahead and I have all of them done except for one. So we'll do that one together. We'll do terracotta tile. Terracotta tile is another in color with seaside spray that I haven't used much until I started playing with that new ornate garden suite. It has terracotta tile in it. It's a great fun color. It's very similar to Calypso Coral. All right, terracotta tile ink, terracotta tile cardstock. And let's do Mossy Meadow um, on Mossy Meadow. You could also do Old Olive. Um, I think Old Olive would be good. So let's cut that out. There we go, or stamp that. <laughs> We're going to cut it out. Now, again, with the same dies we just used, this one is gonna cut the mountains out. 
I haven't been watching your comments, you guys. George, Linda, that's where we went last spring break. We stayed in St. George. This time we stayed in the Lake Powell area in Page, which there's not a whole lot there, but it was kind of the central location to the places where we wanted to go. We did the Grand Canyon, Sedona, Flagstaff, um, up into Bryce Canyon, Antelope Canyon, which you guys, it's amazing. You have to, it's on Navajo land. You have to go with a Navajo um, tour guide. Um, it is spectacular spectacular okay now here we go let's see I've got them all cut out and let's put them in order we're gonna do early espresso at the bottom and then soft suede crumb cake and Cajun craze terracotta tile grapefruit grove all right we're gonna start at the top and I'm gonna leave about an inch this one's gonna be flat. We're gonna do the top one flat, okay? Like that. Now, guess what? About 20 <laughs> dimensionals. And we're gonna layer these down. Um, when you do that, don't put it so that they're identical. You wanna shift them over again, shift them over so that they're, they are not the same, you know, all the same, because they wouldn't be all the same if you were to see the real mountains. It's funny, we gave my kids a choice. Um, you know, what do you guys wanna do? Let's go do, let's go somewhere. Beach or mountains? And I mean, without hesitation. That's a little bit too close. Without hesitation, they said, mountains! Which is good, because I've kind of, I'm over the beach. I'm over it. It used to be my favorite, but I'm over it. Let's see, let's move this one here. And... Although right now I would take the beach. I saw a funny thing on Facebook where it said, I don't know where I'm gonna go this weekend. Um, Porta Backyarda, <laughs> maybe. I thought that, or Los, Los um, Living Room. I thought that was funny, you know, cause we're all stuck in our house. Isn't it just so weird? Just so bizarre that everybody, everywhere is on lockdown. It's bizarre, bizarre. All right, early espresso. Last but not least, we are going to put our trees. Move that like that. I like those right there. Oh, wait, that's too high. Come down. Now, it doesn't look right, does it? You know what we're going to have to do? We're going to have to trim it. And I really do need to find my trimmer. Where did I put it? Hold, please. Guys, oh, here it is, still in my starter kit basket. Pepper's in her bed. She just looked up like, Mama, what are you doing? All right, so we're gonna trim these. And these little pieces, you could maybe do something else with them, right? You could maybe put them on the inside of the card. That would be pretty. And then I'm gonna cut this one off. This piece of balmy blue is three by five and a half, all right? There we go, so beautiful. All right, now the last thing we're gonna do is do the sentiment and I wanted something long going down the side. So this stamp set, isn't this the one I'm giving away today? I had it, where did it go? Oh my gosh. Um, here it is, it's under all of my things I was showing you. Do the impossible. It's kind of fun to do the impossible. So I'm gonna do that up the side, I really liked that sentiment i like the saying and i also liked how it went up the side so before i adhere this on i'm going to stamp and make sure i get it right because have you guys i'm sure you have ruined your card at the very end when you go to stamp the sentiment i'm sure i'm not the only one so in case that happens i'm gonna not adhere that because if i mess it up then it's just a card base right I could even move um, move it over to the other side, whatever. That way I won't have to rip it off. But I'm going to lay it there. And actually what I want to do is open it wide, put that there, and stamp right about there. It's kind 
going to find to do the impossible. Now, white embossing powder. Oh, I love it too, Lori. It's so beautiful. I hope it carries over. I kind of feel like it will. Don't you guys think it's going to be in the annual catalog in June? Sometimes things that we think are going to be in there aren't, so I don't know. I have no guarantees, of course, but I hope it's a good stamp set. All right, so we're going to heat this up with a heat tool. Oh, yes, Marlene, you live in Vegas. It is bizarre. I've seen the pictures of empty Vegas, too. It is so, it's, yeah, scary. It's, it is scary. Funny enough, you guys, here's something <laughs> funny. Um, we were in bed last night watching the news, just, you know, kind of halfway listening, and the weatherman showed that there is a comet and they had zoomed in on it from their helicopter you know and it was i mean it was like a big comet it looked in the how they had zoomed in it looked like it was flying across the sky so my husband and i jumped out of bed ran outside and went to look for it and there it was of course it's way far away and it doesn't look like it did on the tv but it's called the atlas comet and you can see it in the it's in the western sky and it was twinkling i mean it's very obvious that it's something different and uh Anyway, I came, we came back in, I went to Google it, <laughs> and the funny thing was, my paper's a little bit long, I'm going to trim that. The funny thing was, is that this comet they discovered in Hawaii in December, and it's gotten ridiculously bright, like they didn't think it was going to get that bright, and so people are like, oh great, maybe it's changed its course to, uh, you know, towards the earth, could 2020 get any more weird? And I thought, yeah, for sure, a comet coming to us would make things pretty bad. Anyways, a little piece of trivia. Go check it out in the Western Sky tonight. Um, but what do you guys think? Pretty. I love it so much. I love this card so much. Um, wherever you live, if you have mountains, you could do this in a variety of, of ways. Doing, you know, um, light stamping and then stamping off and so that the each one each layer is a little bit of a different color. That would be really pretty. All right. Good. Thanks for the hearts, you guys. I'm glad you like it. I like it too. All right. Last one. Let's see, I still need the white. Let's move that way out of the way. I'm gonna move these. The Atlas, we don't need that. The Atlas Comet, right mom? Is my mom still here? My mom and I were texting. Go look at it, it's amazing. It really is bright and looks very different than, than anything else out in the sky. They say that by May, it could be as bright as the moon. I don't know. I don't know about that. Okay, next card. This card um, is a sunset, all right? And I wanted to use my sponge brayers um, to create a sunset. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, and then on the inside, because it's on a Blackberry Bliss card base, I put a piece of Whisper White. If your card base is too dark um, to write, you feel like, oh, I need a white gel pen. You don't. Just put a piece of white, um, four by five and a fourth piece of cardstock on the inside. All right. Oh, Cindy, have I changed your mind? Good. I'm glad. Yeah, I, I love the mountains. I think that's why I loved it so much. Okay, so let's do, let's do, I'm going to need another piece of grid paper. Let's do the sunset part first, all right? And I want to tell you that every time you do this, it's going to look different. Where is my, I have several of these cards already made. Here's the other one that I did today. And you can see they're just different every time. Your colors are gonna be a little bit different. Your splatters are gonna be a little bit different, which is kind of cool. It makes it pretty unique. Okay, so you're gonna need a four by five and a fourth piece of Whisper White. And here are the foam, I always call it the wrong thing, foam brayers. Let me make sure. No, see, I called it wrong. Sponge brayers, okay? And for $8, you get two handles and four of the rollers. So one pack of foam sponge rollers, whatever. One pack would be enough for you to do this project. Now, I have been wondering, and maybe one of you knows, um, if you could wash these with soap and water, let it dry, and then use it on a different color. I bet you could. Mm, I don't know. Anyway. That's just my thought. All right, here are the colors that we're gonna use. 
Daffodil Delight, Melon Mambo, Rich Razzleberry, Blackberry Bliss. So when the sun is setting, and look at this one, look, that little splatter of, of um, water right there was like perfectly sp spaced to look like it was the sun going down. I didn't do that on purpose. The other one doesn't have that. But um, when you have a sunset, remember as the sun's going down, the, the light, the yellow is down following the sun. And the furthest away from the sun is the darkest, okay? We're going to start with Daffodil Delight because Daffodil Delight is the lightest color and it's going to be the one that washes away the quickest as we add the other color. Um, when you do your brayer, don't just do back and forth like this. You want to move it around and get, that way you're getting it fully coated, okay? And then I like to start off of my grid paper and move on to the white paper so that I don't have a hard line. All right, so we're just going to go up about halfway and we're going to add several layers of color um, I could <laughs> I'll show you I have four other ones uh, when I was playing around with this I really couldn't stop I just kept making them so um, be prepared because it's a little bit addicting to <laughs> you know to make them different each time um, and again they all look very different now remember, you're gonna have two rows of mountains which take up about two inches, an inch and a half. So you wanna make that really dark daffodil color come up, not just at the bottom, all right? Um, you can, but I like story mine with labels. Yeah, okay, Trisha, hi Trisha. Um, that's um, a great suggestion. Trisha says you can wash them, but she likes to store hers with a label of what color she used. So kind of like the Stampin' Sponges. That way it's just ready for you the next time you wanna use it. All right, now we're gonna switch. Okay, we're gonna leave that open because we might need it. And I need to move these away. Now we're gonna go with Melon Mambo. Same deal but from the other side, okay? And we're gonna start off and then down. And it quickly overtakes that yellow. It quickly turns that yellow into orange, all right? And you know, you could just do this all day and make it super dark, or you could just do a little bit and not make it too, too dark. All right, now, See how I have this hard line? I don't like that. So I'm gonna go back to my daffodil. I can't do it that way. Go back with my daffodil and blend that a little bit more. Um, if you don't have the sponge brayers, you could try to do this with daubers. Um, I don't, I think it might take a little bit longer. See how that yellow just kind of blends it all together. Okay. Now, I feel like I need to make this come down just a little bit more. I'm overthinking it. Okay, Erica, stop. <laughs> I could do this all day. Now, we'll do Rich Razzleberry. Now, remember, as we get to these purples, these are very dark. You're gonna need a lot less um, as you do this, okay? And I'm gonna not go down all the way because I don't want it to get too dark down there. But I'm just gonna keep adding color. And then I'll take that, um, oop, I started all right there. That may leave a hard line, oh well. Um, let's get some of that pink and just kind of blend that all together. Oh, that did good. All right, last one. Blues or purples for the night sky? Yes, Catherine, I actually did think about that but I decided to do a sunset instead. And there's an, a beautiful card that one of the artisans did with a red sky, which you wouldn't think, but it's gorgeous. You have to find that, the artisan design team. All right, Blackberry Bliss, just a little bit up here at the top. Then I'm gonna go back one more time with my Melon Mambo and just kind of get it all blended in. See how that yellow quickly disappeared? All right, I think I need to be done. What do you guys think? Be done. Let me move these out of the way. And now, let's look at it. Ah, so beautiful. All right, now for the stars. There's lots of different things you can do here. 
but I'm going to just take my um, aqua painter and squeeze out a little bit of water and then uh, I always well, I don't know how I want to do it let's do splatters like this I want those little dots they're gonna kind of ooh, that was good they're gonna kind of lighten up that ink then you can if you want take a paper towel and daub it but I don't really think you necessarily need to then let's add some wink of Stella in the same manner flicking it I feel like see I always go too far I always take it too far can't leave well enough alone there I needed a few more stars up that way okay don't do anything else Erica let it be done now let me show you that's pretty I like that um here's some other ones this one see how the splatters are big I actually dipped my finger in some water and it went like that and I didn't like how they were too they were too big and over here this is more pink look I didn't do as much dark up there and that looks like a comet or a shooting star or something and then that one I don't know we got the look there's those rogue dimensionals and then that one so you can see every time you do it same colors but that one looks much more orangey right anyway they're I mean they're all good they just are gonna all look different all right we're gonna set that aside to dry we are gonna need this scratch paper now you're also let's do that piece on the inside um, let me think about this while I have the stamp out I'm also gonna do this so let's get our mountains and I bet it's not clean let me see do I need to yep I need to clean it <laughs> right here let's clean it by the way this is the chamois in case you were wondering what this ugly nasty thing is it's the best stamp cleaner it's just a wet sponge that you can clean in your sink and it's awesome or your washing machine all right, now I'm gonna do just a little bit of the mountain down here on the edge, okay? Just a little bit down here like that. Uh-oh, I didn't use my foam pad, but I think we got it. Let me bring that foam pad in. And while I have my stamp turned over like that, let's do, this is basic gray on basic gray cardstock. Let's do one right there. Am I out of the frame? and one right there we're going to cut those out and do them kind of similar to the last card now let's clean this and let's flip it over and this time we're going to do the back side and i'm going to stamp off mm, yeah that's probably i don't know I, I want it to be pretty light let's stamp off twice and then it's not really gonna match up, but that's okay. Just kind of creating a silhouette scene right there. All right, now let's do a little, oh, it's over here, I can bring them all over here. Um, let's do a little splatter. I didn't tell you the sentiment for this one. I love it. God wanted to brighten up the world, so he made you. Love it. Um, okay, so that's from Flourishing Phrases, an old set. This has been around a while. We're going to stamp that inside part, but let's take our Blackberry Bliss blend and do a little flicking of ink. Carry through that flicking from the front. Then Blackberry Bliss, I don't have the stickers on this one, so I got to make sure that I don't do it upside down. There we go, so he made you. All right, now let's cut those out. Ooh, open ink pads everywhere. Not good, not good at all. So are you guys getting to stamp? Are you, are you able to have that free time? We talked about last week how we always wish that we had you know, guilt-free, endless craft time. And now that we can't go anywhere, it kind of is that. Are you guys getting to take advantage of that? I mean, I know a lot of us are working from home, so, but maybe, you know, in the on the weekends or in the evening, since we don't have to go anywhere, we don't have to run kids here and there. Hopefully you guys are finding some time. You know during this we need to you know take care of ourselves and one way to take care of yourself is to do something for yourself right which is crafting if you like to craft 
and you and that brings you you know relaxation so make sure you're setting aside time Carla says working from home is good for that yes stamping on breaks from work good Stephanie good I'm glad okay good I'm glad to hear that all right let's do this is just a little piece of Blackberry Bliss again with a craft ink stamp it right there some white embossing powder I did that all on all three cards isn't that funny embossed on all three there we go and that heat tool one more time what time is it oh I'm almost on time five till not that I have to pick up kids or anything but I don't like to keep you guys longer than an hour and the girls are upstairs watching the clock. I told them they could get back on the internet at three. They have, you know, they have their phones, so they have service, but they've been playing the Xbox and the, they have a Switch. They've been fighting over that Nintendo Switch, which is funny because they hardly ever play that. I guess they're that bored. Um, was stamping a lot, but had to start working overtime. Oh, Holly, overtime. Well, you know, hopefully overtime means more money, maybe. My um, oldest daughter has been working quite a bit um, more than she would, which is good for her too. All right, so nothing fancy here with the sentiment. I'm just cutting it to be the size of the words. And then we're ready to assemble. Now this is still kind of wet, so I'm not sure how well the dimensionals are gonna stick, but we can try. All right, I think this is actually where I put one, whoopsie, look at that, where I put one flat. Oh, come on. One flat like that, and then the bottom one, oh yeah, that's gonna have a hard time sticking. Like that. Let's get that other strip and remember again, do them so that they are not the same. All right, and then again, we're gonna trim, matchy matchy, all the edges. I have taken the guard off my mini trimmer. I can hear some of you out there, where's your guard, where's the clear part? I like to live on the dangerous side, the wild side taking my guard off <laughs> oh goodness I'll probably pay for it one of these days all right so let's do these four dimensionals have I used a whole sheet of dimensionals today it feels like it that goes there this little guy goes here Mm -hmm, maybe higher oh, I don't know just over I didn't want to take up I didn't want to take away from this guy so I just did the sentiment like that all right now for the inside let's put on our little white piece that we have over here and voila we are done let's look at all three of them let's see how they all look different that one is bigger dot drops that one is darker up here more blackberry bliss right and then that one i like that little splatter right there it's like the milky way or something very cool i hope you guys will give this technique a try it's really fun and like i said it's addicting i could not stop making them <laughs> i need to do something with those four before i clean all this up i think i'm gonna make four more cards with those backgrounds all right you guys let's look at what we did today okay we did three different cards with a mountain home um stamp set and dies um, these are available in the um hello spring catalog and the bundle make sure you're using the bundle number um because when a, when stamps and dies come out when the, when they're first in the catalog um they will be in a bundle price so um, here's the the number for the stamp set right and then the number for the dies but you want to use the bundle number right here this is the bundle see how it says mountain air am I too high mountain air bundle you save 10% when you buy them together like that so make sure you're doing that um, that way you can save 10% and it's $50 25 cents which means 
Hello, free celebration item just with this one bundle, okay? All right, I think that's it. If, remember, if you want these make and takes for free, I will send them to you on Tuesday. You've got to put your minimum $35 order in by Monday at midnight. You've got to use the host code unless, I'm like waiting for the class to answer, but I can't hear you guys. Unless your order is over $150, don't use the host code because you'll get stamping rewards, you'll get free stuff, um, and I'll still send them to you, okay? All right, you guys, next week, I don't know what the plan is. I haven't designed anything for next week yet. I have some ideas, but you'll just have to come back and find out. Have a great weekend, you guys. Stay safe. Don't go out. Let's get this virus done. Let's get it, you know, let's let it die a death quickly so we can all go back to our regular lives, right? Thanks, you guys. I'm so glad that you joined me today, and I will see you next Friday at 2 o'clock. Bye.